So today we are flying to the largest city in the world. This is Perth, the largest city in the world. It's not really the largest city, it's uh, the most remote city in the world, but yeah, we're off to Perth. Just waiting for the bus now. It's going to be about 15 minutes to the next one. Enjoy this wonderful trip. First afternoon in Perth, we're going to just wander around, see what we can find, enjoy the sights, and then catch up with dinner for people tonight. So, yeah, I think we're just going to head to the waterfront, have a look around there, and see what there is to see. Been a successful night here in Perth. We've uh, caught up with some friends, been out for drinks, went to a night market, saw a cool color changing building, and right now we're heading back for some much needed sleep because uh, it's something like one in the morning Melbourne time, and I've been up since 6 a.m. So, feet resting time, feet rest, sleep time, and everything. See you tomorrow. What's that? So, day two in Perth, we're off to get some breakfast, and uh, they've pulled the road up that we're staying on because the This building just doesn't look as cool during the day. Didn't really get much when we went shopping this morning. Had some nice breakfast though. Now this afternoon, we're gonna go first of all to King's Park, or I think it's a botanical garden. It's the one you can see right up there on the map. No, in the picture. That one you can see right up there. 
so a bit of a walk to get there and then we're going to head to the beach afterwards hopefully play the drone around a little bit get some footage and yeah catch up with all the beach have a good time it's like a 40 degree day here and we're still at about a kilometer to go so we're we'll having a long break it's a seriously long walk to King's Park and the you know, signs haven't been that great. We told us we're about half a k away, and the next sign told us 600 meters away, so just getting further and further away, I think. But I think that's it, just there. And it suddenly does look like a dead end, so hopefully it's not. This walk we're on, it's like following along the Kokoda Trail. It seems to have skipped a lot of places, but the sure is a nice view as we're getting closer towards the top. I think we found the visitor center. here at Kings Park as well with uh, the botanical gardens over there. Now we're off to the beach. Just not entirely sure how to get to the beach so I think we're gonna try and find a bus around here. Just found out this bus stop we're waiting at is the same bus that like goes right in front of our accommodation and it's within the free travel zone so we could have taken a bus here for free and not walk. But we got the exercise and we walked. It was, it was yeah an alright walk. We didn't die. Good, got a bit of a swim in, it's a hard to play. Now, catching one of the only buses back, it's either this one or we wait an hour and a half to the next. So back home for dinner. Uh, about to go out for dinner now and then probably an early night tonight because I was rather tired today. See you guys tomorrow. Today we're off to North Le Leighton Beach for breakfast, so catching the train in North Fremantle. Just a long walk to the train now. So down there. Found it. Just had a good swim. Thought there was a shark. These guys are lying. No, you're all good. All good. <laughs> Scared it away. I thought there was a shark further down the beach, but there wasn't. So, finished up. We're going to head to Cottesloe now, but I think we've got to go visit that tower up there. Just missed the train, so we have like a 
20 minute wait today. No, 15 yeah. minute wait today. They feel really cool when you Wow. Have you seen them before? That's cool. How many sachets is this? <laughs> About 25. Wow. Market was pretty cool and now we're off to the Fremantle prison. We're gonna work out where it is. I think it's this way. I think we're gonna keep going this way. To kind of follow where those people are going, I guess. Down the prison. <laughs> gonna go see how much it costs, whether we should check it out. One child's finished emptying over. It's like 20 bucks each to go inside the prison, so <laughs> like not really gonna be here much longer. We didn't think that was worth it. Last stop in Perth, we're just grabbing a uh, drink and a uh, bite to eat. Then we're gonna catch the bus back to our accommodation, back up and then head back to Melbourne. One of the cool things about Fremantle is just these streets, like, so cruisy, a few cars, people just walking all over them. It's really relaxing here in Fremantle, nice vibe. Alright, so it's 1.35, 1.45 is the next one. Place, just to collect our bags and then we're flying back to Melbourne. Stick this on the bag. Okay. The bag is being Confirm. About to hop in our flight back to Melbourne and the battery in this is almost dead, so we'll see when we get back there. It's Monday night now. Uh, got home late last night, had a lot of rest today. One thing I've realized is we haven't drawn the winner yet. So here we go, this ended two days ago. Draw winner. Congratulations, Brian, you followed me on Twitter. I'll get in touch with you in the next few days to send you your prize. That's all for this episode 29, catch you guys later.